Alright, advent of code day eight. Memory maneuver. Interesting. Uh, list of numbers. It's a tree. Okay, fine. A tree. Uh huh. Okay. Some of metadata seems fine. Let's just see what we have. Ooh. Maybe we want to. No. Oh. Do Python. Um, open it dot in dot read dot split. Okay, so we have a single tree. Uh, So in C and M,
So I'm going to try something new today, which is sort of go over the solution after it's done. Okay, so uh, we have a bunch of integers as the input, so we're just uh, meeting them. Uh, splitting, split, so meeting them into one big string. Uh, it's all on one line. Split, splits by white space, so this gives us just the list of the integers, and then map int uh, parses them as integers. Uh, I'm going to keep an index into n. So this is sort of our input reading method next int, which just gives us the integers in order. Uh, so we just increment this index and return the, sort of the current value. Um, OK, so there's three methods here. Uh, read tree is just sort of parsing the integers into the tree. Uh, so how did the info work? Uh, they said the first two entries are the number of children and the number of metadata. So that's what we do first. And then for each child, we read a child tree. And for each metadata, we just stick it in the metadata. And we're just going to return the uh, pair of the children in the metadata. And uh, the, these, this pair is a zero root. So we read the root. And then for part one, we sum the metadata. So uh, this would run better as ants equals sum metadata, but whatever. Uh, so we sum the metadata, and for each child, we recursively sum its metadata. So that's simple enough. Um, and then for value, uh, we basically just follow the rules. So if there are no child nodes, the value is the sum of the metadata. And otherwise, for each metadata, if it's a valid index into the list of children, then uh, we add the value of that child to our value and return that. Uh, so I guess the sort of key idea here was recursion, as it usually is with trees. Uh, read tree to build the child trees. Uh, it's very useful. And of course, we call some metadata recursively on the children and value recursively on the children. So yeah, that's day eight.